Hey what's up you guys it's Spartan and welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So for this campaign we will be starting off as a Roman gladiator that has recently rebelled against his city and we will be fighting all of the Roman Empire with a gladiator army. So let's go ahead and get straight into our character creation and starting our journey and our story as a Roman gladiator. All right, so the first thing I have to choose is my culture. So obviously we are going to be a part of Rome since we are a gladiator and we are rebelling against Rome. So we're going to take Calradians and then let's go ahead and create our character. So we have two choices. We can either create Maximus the gladiator or we can create Spartacus. So let's go ahead and create our hero called Spartacus. All right, there we go, boys. Spartacus himself. So I tried to get him as close to historically accurate as possible. And I think it looks pretty flipping good here. Let's put his clothes on. Look at that, man. He's got his menacing eyebrows right there. Always looking a little bit angry or interested. And he's got his ears that points out. He's got his curly short hair, as well as a really definitive jawline. Look at that, man. This is about as close to Spartacus as you can possibly get in this game. So he has recently escaped from the Ludus and has taken all of his gladiator brothers. So he is known for a famous escape in town. So he has had his gladiator training as well as his battles. And he is a veteran to the Roman Empire. All right, so our group will be called the Spartacus Revolution. So our goal will be to get as many slaves and gladiators to freedom as possible. So if that means we have to destroy the Roman Empire to do that, so be it. So we are starting off with around 70 of our gladiator friends. But look at Spartacus here. He is custom made and he has his beautiful kitchen knife, <laughs> which is all he has at the moment and basically no armor. I feel really bad for it, but we need to raid to get money and supplies for our soldiers. So we need to raid as much of the Roman Empire as possible to help our soldiers. So they are not willing to give us supplies and we have to fight this militia. So it will be Militia Romans. So let's go ahead and do a 20 versus 19. This is going to be a real challenge for Spartacus right at the beginning. But look at these guys, man. They look amazing. The Just the bare cloaks and everything. Oh, no. we're Oh, the Romans. I didn't think they would have spears and shields, man. We should be able to... Oh, my God. We're wiping them. It's not even close. There we go. That's what happens when you fight gladiators with a militia. Never send a militia against a gladiator rebellion. You think Rome would learn after the first time, too. Look at this, man. <laughs> Spartacus' first battle. Now, we didn't do much, but we will level up with our companions and we will start doing way better oh we actually got a lot of gear let's check out some of this gear so we do have a roman shield that we could use and i definitely need that all right we'll try to get 12 more soldiers and i guess we could probably take out some of these raiders too yeah here we go let's take out these raiders look at these guys they look high all right let's see what our gladiator pit fighters can do right here so let's take our pit fighters which are one of the worst in the game with us into battle look at them they got some cool gear though some of them have axes some of them have fur helmets pretty nice looking they don't really have good armor oh shoot i didn't even see you guys i didn't know you were that close look at these batanian warriors oh my god they're bare they're bare chested like us we should need we need some of these guys in our army we might be able honestly to recruit some of these guys because they look pretty good they got some cool tribal pants let's check out these tribal pants <laughs> oh yeah I don't think it's really Spartacus's style, but we'll still take it. So we do have a garrison force of about 100 now, and we have 580 gladiator defenders, which is really nice to see. But I'm really worried they're going to form a war party soon and attack us. Okay, look at them. They're starting to get like 200 or so soldiers, and we need to start building up our forces very quickly. All right, boys. So I have decided we do not have much time until they gather an army of like a thousand Imperials and Romans. And attack us so we need to form an army we need to unite our men that we have in this garrison and bring them all under our command so we need to go to our garrison and we need to take as many of these soldiers as possible and put the pressure on the romans all right let's go ahead and look for any kind of victims to attack let's see if we can fight any of their militia or if they have any kind of soldiers just roaming around you know we could try to get horses actually that might be a really good idea i'm gonna go ahead and raid this settlement right here and see what we can get out of it they're gonna try to defend it with 36 militia that is so crazy look at all these guys too man look at all these gladiators it's beautiful 
Our Slinger should have flaming arrows too, which is really funny to see. But let's go ahead and have everyone charge. They're starting to pick us off. Charge, man. Throw your pilas. Oh, yes. Look at that, man. Oh, they're poor militia. I'm they should be routing by now, man. The militia's running. The peasants are running. Look how they run, too. That's so funny to see. Look, they're trying to act all formal when they're retreating. They're like, this is a strategic retreat. This is not us running away. Pay us no mind. And our gladiator brothers with their two-handed weapons are chasing them from behind. And there we go. That was a nice little easy victory right there. And we did have two soldiers injured just because they shot us at the beginning with those flaming arrows. But they are not dead. They are gladiators. They don't die that easily. Okay, here we go. So we, we have our first Roman army coming to attack us. Yeah, let's go ahead and end the raiding. And let's go ahead and try to get back. We might not be able to regroup in time, but we'll see if we can escape. We have six Roman generals coming to attack us with their mercenaries. All right, so we are falling back and it looks like they are not going to besiege. So we're going to go ahead and try to defend our, our village right here, our people. The people that have supported us in our rebellion, we need to defend. So it's going to be 88 versus 116 and we do not have the advantage here. But we need to save our people and try to gain the respect of the Roman people so that more gladiators and slaves join into our cause. Look at our brothers here. All these gladiators and these slaves have joined Spartacus in taking control of Rome and for their freedom. Look at all these guys too. They, we actually do have a decent amount of shields now, which is good to see. A lot of gladiators with pilas and shields. Oh no, our slingers. Our slingers are getting hit by the cavalry. All right, boys, get get in their way. Don't let the Romans run you over. <laughs> Shoot, I got right over. All right, slingers, come on. You need to start shooting at them. Start knocking those Romans over. They got slings too. All right, you know what? Time to charge, boys. Charge infantry. This is our first real Roman army we have to face here. There we go. We're doing uh, not a lot of damage, but we're definitely getting in there. Oh, we're down. <laughs> Uh, Spartacus is knocked down. That's okay, though. We can take control of this trident dude right here. Definitely be okay. Yeah, look at this guy. This guy's way better than Spartacus, sad enough. This guy is cool to use, man. Here we go. We're gonna jump in here and stab the archers in the back, the slingers. Oh, look at that. All the Roman bodies. That was a quick slaughter, too, but it does look like we lost a good amount of our gladiators there but we're gonna have a lot of equipment to use after this battle or spartacus too spartacus got knocked down but we do have a lot of upgrades i feel bad for the ones that died but we just really need to get as much gear as possible to defend ourselves oh we have 25 militia that we can't hire so i'm gonna go ahead and hire those militia and take 43 prisoners which is a good amount of soldiers too but we took a lot of soldiers there oh what is this oh my god no, I can't wear that. That's ugly. All right, yeah, we'll leave some of that with our soldiers, and we'll go ahead and see if we can have any more people join us. Yeah, look at this. This village is giving us so many soldiers after that fight. We definitely need to heal up Spartacus a little bit before they attack again, which actually looks like they're going to attack that village right again after we left. But we got some really nice gear now. Look at this, man. Spartacus is looking amazing after that battle. So we basically stole as much of their armor as possible and then used it to buy stuff from the Roman armory. There we go. So we got 12 more recruits we can get. And let's go ahead and see if we can help defend this village again. Oh, we got 143 Romans this time. This is going to be a little more difficult than last time. Charge into the fray, boys. Oh, man. They're, they're forming a giant wall, though. Shield wall. Oh, I'm already down. <laughs> I die so easily, man. Oh, the slings do a lot of damage. Charge, boys. We're losing a lot of soldiers. Look at this, man. We're being massacred. Oh, man. Come on, boys. You got to form up and charge. We need to break their lines. We're losing so many. There we go. Oh, he's got a crossbow. That's pretty cool. But he doesn't stand a chance. He's got a dagger along with it. And there we go. We almost lost our entire army of gladiators in that single fight. We're not going to be able to survive for long if we keep losing that many soldiers. So we lost 63 of our gladiators in that battle. But the more soldiers they send us, the more experience we get and the more gold we get. All right, so let's go ahead and free this guy as well. We might need to start taking some prisoners in the future, but for now, we'll free most of these guys. We got 50 upgrades too. We need as many two-handed warriors as possible. So champion pit fighters, and we even have a gladiatrix we can get. That's pretty nice. And 16 more prisoners. All right, we'll go ahead and take 10 more soldiers. And most of our army was defeated there against that. And we have a giant war party coming over. 500 Romans. That is not good. If they try to besiege that place, I'm not going to be able to defend them. 
Let's see if we can attack the back of their column here. This might be really risky, but I do want to try it. Uh, it looks like both of them are attacking. Uh, this isn't going to work, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, it looks like actually they have split, so it says 111. So you might want to tell me your name before we cross swords. I am Spartacus, and who are you? I do not care. We will fight to the last drop of blood. So we have caught the last party of his column that was passing by us of like a thousand Romans, and we are ready to attack. So hopefully we can wipe out this party before the rest of the column realizes and then retreat back to our city. So let's see. Let's put our slingers in the front and infantry in the back. And look at this beautiful battlefield right here. This is going to be a good battle. So hopefully our slingers can actually do some damage this time and get some work in. And we still have not too many shield men, but we're slowly training our men up and getting more and more gear from the Romans. So they do have a sizable amount of cavalry units. So I'm going to go ahead and check this out. I do have a horse now. I'm not exactly sure how I got a horse, but let's go ahead and see if we can take off some of these soldiers, pick them off. Oh, they have pilas too. Never mind. Oh, bad idea. Well, at least I wasted some of their pilas. Look at this. This is going to be a good battle. We got to get some of their horses. Maybe I can get them to charge us right off the bat. Yeah, that'd be a really good idea. Use a little couch lance. Oh, there we go. Here we go. You see some flaming rocks flying by, too. That's awesome to see. The slingers are so cool, man. There we go. Oh, God. We have flaming arrows everywhere. There we go. They got a lot of slingers. Oh, their slingers are the first ones to go into the battle. Here, let's go ahead and get off horseback. This is crazy, man. Oh, my God. Oh, we're disorganized. There we go, but we're getting in there. Our two-handed berserkers are going right into the center of the battle. There we go, man. This is beautiful. Here, let's go full speed. It's going to be a little crazy. We should be able to completely outnumber them here. Yeah, there we go. We're completely circling them, slaughtering everyone that tries to run away. Don't let them run, boys. There we go. I just got one of their Praetorians. There we go. That was pretty good. We only lost like half our army right there. But we did a good job of ambushing the back of their column, but we will need to regroup after this. Pretty easy battle right there. They lost a lot of the Romans. Look at all the flags too on the ground. So many Roman shields and bodies is waiting to be looted here. So Spartacus got three kills. Our champion pit fighters got 31 kills and pit fighters got 42 kills. That's pretty impressive. But we did lose 42 soldiers. So we're still losing a lot of gladiators each fight. All right, so we'll get 19,000 gold from that battle. That's pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and see what they're doing over there. I kind of want to scout them out real quickly and then come back as soon as I see what the Romans are doing over here. But we do have some hidden hand soldiers. I might want to try to recruit some of these mercenary parties. I know they're really expensive, but they definitely might be worth it. Oh, actually, I don't see the Roman. Oh, no, no, never mind. There they are. All right, so there's 600 Romans and they're traveling to Artesia to besiege it. Oh no. Okay, we need to get back to the city as soon as possible and warn all the other gladiators and slaves that a Roman army is on its way. So let's go ahead. We'll wait outside the city and we actually do have more soldiers in them. So I'm kind of surprised they're attacking. Oh, they are besieging. Okay, so, oh no. Join the defenses of Ortizia. So the Roman army has finally decided to try to squash this rebellion. So let's go ahead and join in the defenses. We are slightly outnumbered. And we only have four days worth of food. I thought we had more food than that. They might try to actually starve us out, but we'll see what happens. All right. Oh, no, they have 474 more soldiers joining. 1,100 Romans versus 500 gladiators. I think we can do it, though. All right, look at this. Ortizia. This is our home right here. This is where we escaped the Colosseums and have taken over. So we have four onagers on the walls, and they have a siege tower and a ram. You know what? I'll kind of let them do their own thing and we'll see how this goes. But this is definitely going to be a sketchy battle and we are outnumbered two to one. <laughs> oh no, we have so many militia peasants, man. Oh, this is going to be bad. We do have a lot of gladiators here, but we also have a lot of militia and freed slaves that really don't have any armor. So let's go ahead. I'll probably go to the top of the walls and see what this battle is looking like. So let's go ahead. I'm going to travel to the walls. We do have a pretty good spot here to defend, but we are just so highly outnumbered. Got a lot of peasant archers too. Look at all the gladiators. Yes, man. We got all of our gladiators hiding on this wall right here. They are ready to defeat any Romans that try to climb these walls. But let's go ahead and see what we're facing here, man. Going to slow motion. Getting a lot of onager kills, too. 
Got some gladiators taking control of the onagers. I'm not sure how I feel about that because, you know, they don't really know how to work these siege engines. But they will try their best and hopefully they don't kill any of our friends or anything. Got a nice little militia shield wall over here. Look at this. We got a Testudo of slaves. <laughs> They've watched the Romans fight enough to know how to do a Testudo, which is pretty impressive. But look at this Roman force of soldiers back here, man. This is not looking good. They have some really, really highly armored soldiers back here. Mostly auxiliary units, but still, these guys are way more equipped than we are. We are pretty much naked peasants and slaves. So this is going to be a true battle right here. And we have destroyed the ram. Oh, that is amazing, man. Now all they have, I believe, is a siege tower. Yeah, if we can focus all of our fire on the siege tower, we might actually be able to win and survive this day. Come here, gladiators. It's time to defend your home. And to defend these slaves that you have freed. We are free men and we shall not be subjugated. So we are going to take all these soldiers right here. And we are going to get them ready. Actually, stay in there, boys. You don't really want to get shot. So we're waiting for their siege ramp to hit the walls. And hopefully we might be able to destroy it with our onagers. But I highly doubt it. Look at this. We got tons of Romans coming, man. This is not good. Uh, the onager is doing some serious work to their army. How many have we killed? We've killed 148, but they do have reinforcements. So we still have to face 1,000 Romans. And look at this. We're starting to gather our peasants on the walls. So, <laughs> oh my god, the peasants are not going to be doing the greatest. All right, so we do have our barbarians hiding. So they do not expect us. So we have all of our gladiators waiting for them to charge this militia on the wall. So here they come. The siege ramp is up, and they are ready. Oh, we are losing some peasants, man. We are losing a lot of our peasants. We need to get up here, boys. As soon as they drop that ramp, we need to charge. All right, here we go. Charge, boys. Let's go. Oh, they got their centurion in the front, too. We got to charge. Charge into them. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I can't even get up there fast enough. Yes, man, we're slaughtering them. Pull back a little bit, men. We just need to destroy this ramp as soon as possible and make sure they can't get up this ladder. Look at this. We're doing a good job at holding them back here. All right, charge, men. Charge, gladiators. We got to get in here. We got to destroy their ramp. Here we go. Push them off this ramp. Oh, don't push me off, though. Get them, boys. All right, so we're doing a pretty good job over here. Let's go with some slow motion. Look at that. They're trying to push through, but they're just getting met by a horde of gladiators and peasants with shields. So we're doing a really good job at holding this side, but there's just so many more of them coming. Actually, no, wait. There's a lot of archers dead. Oh, I spoke too soon. Never mind. They got reinforcements in the distance. So they got tons of reinforcements coming in, but we're doing a good job at picking off a lot of the people coming up. Oh, wait. What was that? We just got an onager shot from our own teammates. The gladiators missed their shot and actually killed a lot of our friends. Look at that, man. This is why you don't put gladiators on siege equipment. Yeah, it does look like they are trying to open the gates, but they are not successful in opening the gates. So that's good to see. Come on, men. Oh, we got reinforcements. We got militia reinforcements coming to help us. Come on, man. We got to kill these guys. These legionaries stand no chance charging a wall like this, man. They are not meant to charge walls. They are supposed to be a defensive unit. So our gladiators should be doing a good job over here. Come on, they keep coming, though. There's so many. We just got to focus everyone on this position over here. Oh, we got some Ra we got some Romans on the walls. I didn't even realize there were Romans on the walls. That's not good. They're probably trying to open the gate, and they're getting in through the second secondary way. Okay, so my gladiators are going to try to retake the left wall, so I'm going to go with them. So we need to stop them from running around our walls and killing our men. Yeah, gladiators, get on this wall. They're just running around our settlement, man. What is going on down there? Do we still have control of the gates? Okay, yeah, we still have control of the gates. And they're running around our city somehow. Oh, actually, we have slaughtered them. They were retreating through our city. <laughs> There's the Romans running through the streets trying to run away. But there we go. We actually have defeated an army of 1,000 Romans. These poor gladiators, man. They laid down their life defending their brothers and their slaves. The slaves really did a good job of fighting. I know they don't have any skills, but they did a really good job at holding the siege tower and actually destroying the siege tower too. Oh, oh we got poor Trident dude just slain over the wall. We got so many casualties after that battle. So we slayed 433 of the Romans that attacked us and we lost 204 soldiers. So we did lose a sizable amount of our militia especially our militia because our militia was just not made for a battle like this and we lost 32 of our gladiators as well as 11 gladiators garrisoned inside 
Our veteran gladiators got 56 kills and only got one injured too. That is really impressive. So we need more veteran gladiators as well as champion pit fighters. All right, so it does look like Rome is looking to attack a second time and we still have all of our onagers and they are highly injured. It does look like Spartacus will not be able to join this fight because because <laughs> he basically broke his legs because we fell off the we fell off the walls twice, which is kind of embarrassing. But Spartacus will not be able to join the battle and we are a little disorganized. So we'll go ahead and watch the battle unfold and see how our peasant militia and our slaves do against this army. So all we have to defend are these four ladders. So we should be able to do a pretty good job. At defending them especially since we have some really good gladiators in the front lines with their good weapons they got some barbarians they're sending up against us too look at these poor boys they're running into a just a wall of spears from the peasants and the slaves the slaves are doing a really good job at holding them here too look at that i wouldn't be i wouldn't want to be the one that ran into that wall of spears what is happening over here man they're just like jumping on top of the slaves and getting slaughtered Look at that, they're glitching around. <laughs> this can be easy, man. This is only a level 2 castle too, or city. So we could actually upgrade this city even more to make it even tougher to get onto the walls. But look at that, man. They're just glitching around. They're just flopping around on top of our shield wall and getting completely slaughtered. How many soldiers have we lost here? We've only lost 14 soldiers. This is going really well. And they got some reinforcements coming, but their archers are getting slaughtered. And look at this, man. They got some really good armor that they're going to be giving to us for free, pretty much. They're just standing there throwing their slings and getting shot down by onagers. They're throwing their little rocks when we use our big boy rocks to basically hit them. That's so funny, man. They lost so many soldiers. Who, who needs archers when you have giant boulders being shot at you at 90 miles per hour? Look, they just fall dead, man. And he comes up and he's like, oh, I'm next up to bat, I guess. Let's go and run in with my rock and <laughs> get slaughtered. Look at that. So their reinforcements are mostly dead. And their slingers are doing a little bit of damage to our people on the walls. But they're not doing that much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We still got some archers too. Archers are shooting through the slits in the walls. And it looks like they are retreating again. So they're starting to pull back away from the walls. And they're like, yeah, screw this. We're running out of here. These slaves are way better than we thought they were. Poor Romans, they didn't stand a chance, man. I don't know what they thought attacking the walls without any siege equipment the second round. So honestly, I'm really impressed of how brave these slaves were, man. They just picked up the Roman shields and spears and ran to the walls in their cloth armor. So they have no armor on pretty much, and they just ran to defend their city and their fellow slaves. And we got 324 kills with our peasants. That's impressive, man. They have to just be extremely pissed off or something. They have to be really mad to be sending their troops yet again against these walls. We actually outnumber them now and they're still attacking our city. I don't know what these Romans are thinking. Honestly, the key to winning a siege defense like this is getting as many slaves as possible on the walls with shields. Because as long as you clog these walls like this, they will never get through, no matter how skilled they are. And they are retreating yet again, and <laughs> we're picking them off with the onagers. There we go. So another easy victory for the slaves and the gladiators. Look at the slaves on the wall just screaming down at the, <laughs> the dead Romans. Yeah, it looks like we are sallying out through the gate to try to chase down the Romans. That is pretty brave of you. I'm not sure if that's the greatest idea, though. Oh, they actually are going to kill some. Look at this, we got our gladiators in the front lines killing some of the legionaries that fell behind. Oh my god, I guess their legs got broken from the onagers or something. They got slowed down. Look at that, man, that's impressive. Look how good looking these guys are too. How many people have we slaughtered? We have slaughtered 196 of their Romans on a third attack, and they were just helpless to defend themselves, say. Eh? All right, there we go. It's 134 versus 321, and they're attacking yet again. You have got to be kidding me. I'm just gonna go ahead and let my soldiers deal with this <laughs> it's 321 against 134 at this point all right so we lost nine soldiers and we killed 134 of them they only have like i don't even think they have any soldiers left at this point point. and there we go we have taken we have taken most of the roman generals captive let's go ahead and take as many as we can here we're not going to be sparing a single one of these people 
go to the dungeon and look at all these Roman lords that are waiting for us to execute them on the spot. We have 543 prisoners in our castle, so I'm going to go ahead and take every single one of them. 668 Roman prisoners and at least 10 Roman lords. Yeah, we obviously cannot deal with that, so we need to do the only thing we can think of, and that is going to be to execute every single one of those Romans. There we go. Look at Spartacus in this two-handed axe man look how intimidating that is that is awesome to see so let's go ahead do a little montage of us executing all these lords and there we go we have executed every single one of their generals that have attacked us on this day we have so many negative relationships going down but that is okay and we are now considered deceitful and devious all right so i hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of life of gladiator if you guys want to see more of Spartacus's campaign against the Roman Empire to free all the slaves, make sure to like and subscribe and share this with all of your Spartan brothers. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out Spartans.